Hey, welcome to episode number six. Here we are at Colorado's Pro Gym up in Denver, Colorado, training some quads. We weren't going to film today. Uh, we did 10 sets of uh, leg extensions, and everything felt so good on the leg press that uh, we started filming our last set here, templates on each side for a set of 15, and we figured we'd film uh, the last heavy set of every exercise we did. Uh, my knees were acting up a little bit, um, so we started pre-exhausting with a ton of extensions, uh, outer thighs, leg curls, just really warming up and stretching out before we get to this heavy stuff, and they really felt a lot better today. So after leg press, or extensions, and then leg press, we went to hack squats. I love this old flex uh, hack squat machine they have up here. We worked up to four plates, did one set with four plates, it was as many reps as I could get, and then what you see here is the last set where we started with four and then did a drop set from three to two to one. Uh, not necessarily rushing on the drop set. Um, Christy would just take off a plate on each side. I'd take about 30 seconds or so in between each one and try to get as many reps as I could. Uh, I was feeling sick. I, I definitely, uh, my central nervous system got, got the best of me on this one. And so uh, this definitely uh, uh, kicked my butt today for sure. And here you can see she's just taking one off at each time. I think I got eight reps on four, six on three, six on two, and then 10 on one. And I'm trying to go down real deep. You can see um, the glutes, you know, going deeper than the knees there just to get a real good stretch. And we're also trying to improve my outer sweep and glutes. And so what you'll see is I'm doing a full glute workout on my hamstring day, which is separate from today. And then on my quad day, when we finish up this workout, I'm adding in a couple sets on the glute machine they have up here. And then I'm also doing uh, some squats as well, just to, just to really emphasize the glute development and trying to get that full look for, to my side chest and to my rear double bicep. Uh, so I'm really trying to improve these areas. But uh, here you can see I'm taking off my belt and knee wraps. <laughs> Again, I about lost it and uh, I, was, I was hurting pretty good. So I think I got six reps here, and then she'll drop down to one plate, and then I finish with a set of 10. One tip to remember is if you do start uh, experiencing some knee pain, and before it gets any worse, it might be a good idea on your leg days to go to the gym, start out with five or 10 minutes on the stationary bike or even the recumbent bike um, to stretch out, not over stretch, but to stretch out a little bit, warm up with some very light sets of 20 on leg extensions, leg curls, inner thighs, outer thighs, warm up your, you know, everything from the waist down completely and take your time with it. Even if it takes 15 to 20 minutes, um, if you're training heavy and you're training hard, you're really taxing your body and definitely uh, your connective tissues and your knees. So make sure you definitely warm up. And that's something that's uh, kept my knees healthy for the past 25 years training like this and competing. So um, as soon as I started experiencing a little bit of knee pain in both knees, we did this. And last week and, and this week both, and they're already feeling uh, 100% better. So these hack squats didn't bother my knees at all. The heavy leg press, no pain in my knees at all. And everything was back, back up and running. Um, I don't know what's up with the iPhone. We both just got new iPhones. And this, uh, I tried to fix this uh, squatting video and it still goes sideways. But anyway, <laughs> using this Rogue um, safety squat bar, um, the Rogue bar is about 85 pounds. So here, this weighs about 265 pounds. And that's as heavy as I went. That's that's all I got. So, but I did try to go pretty deep on these for a set of ten, I think, and uh, really trying to to squeeze on the way up, and uh, not necessarily lock out, just squeeze, and really keep that constant tension on uh, my lower body. Also, to note on leg press, um, I never completely lock out. I come within you know, real close on the leg press hack squat and on these, but I never completely lock out my knees. I always keep an extra inch or so to where it's constant tension. So I don't hurt my knees. So after this, we're trying to improve that outer sweep all the way down to the glute area. And for some reason, uh, I've always, 
uh, single leg press kills my hips all the way up through that outer sweep. And I try to push with the, with the, with my heel and the outer part of my foot. That's the secret. So if you, if you ever do single leg press after your legs are taxed like this, and I like to leave it for the end, um, push with your heel through the outer part of your foot and you'll definitely feel that, uh, that outer sweep just catch on fire. And even one plate here feels like, you know, you're leg pressing the whole gym. And, uh, I was really dying on this one. There's no question how I, I felt like I was going to lose it here. So <laughs> it was definitely a good workout. And this was a great finisher before we hit some calves and glutes. Another thing we've been doing is we've been uh, training at different gyms just to, to shake things up. For example, this flex uh, calf machine here, um, I love it. I can use the whole stack, go heavy, it's easy on the back. Um, I just love the way it feels and it just it kills those calves. And so um, I think I said, like I said in, the, in a previous video, we do one calf exercise on our quad days and then on our hamstring days we'll do two or three calf exercises so this is just kind of a quick four set touch up and they have this glute machine up here that we don't have it's still city gym in pueblo and so we supersetted calves with glutes and uh it just keeps real constant tension on the glutes you can't extend your leg all the way back it's just totally uh just stretches that glute out and straight back and so there's a couple sets of 15 here and it definitely did the trick it was a great finisher uh, we could hardly move after this and it was it was just a really good workout and we like to thank uh, colorado pro gym you can see in the back they're they're remodeling the whole gym so they kind of crunched all their equipment to the uh to the far side of the gym i'm excited to see what it's going to look like when it's all done they've been working on this for a while and so thanks to colorado pro gym thanks for watching please like it and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video